Mitral valve disease uh, is a disease process that can involve either a tight valve known as mitral stenosis, a leaking valve known as mitral insufficiency, and the third condition being infection of the mitral valve known as endocarditis. Most common conditions that require surgery is mitral insufficiency. Um, the, the treatment options really are to repair the valve or to replace the valve. In our minds, replacement is not a good alternative, um, and we would prefer to repair the valve whenever possible. And we've got a team of cardiac surgeons that are highly experienced in mitral valve repair and uh, our results are that greater than 93% of the time we repair all mitral valves. Uh, there are two groups of patients, either patients who are highly symptomatic with mitral insufficiency, have severe exercise limitations, shortness of breath, and maybe even heart failure symptoms. And then there's another group of patients that are completely asymptomatic and don't know that their heart is starting to dilate and succumb to the, succumb to the leakage of the mitral valve. Here at Penn, we've become one of the leading centers in the world when it comes to minimally invasive yeah. valve surgery. And we've become highly experienced, having performed over 1,300 minimally invasive mitral valve procedures using both the robot as well as other minimally invasive techniques. If you come to Penn, you're not coming to, uh, to center where we're gonna be practicing on how to refine our techniques. Our techniques have been refined over the past uh, several years.